you want to remove all unused footage from your Premiere Pro project, of course you can simply run the menu command Edit Remove Unused. The Automation Blocks tool Delete Unused Footage Items does exactly the same but offers some extra features. First of all, if you enable the option Process Only Selected Items, you can remove the unused footage only within particular bins, for example, instead of processing the entire project. Also, after you run the tool, in the console of Automation Blocks you can see a list of all items which have been deleted. This makes it very easy to check if you deleted anything accidentally which you still wanted to keep. A very cool thing about Automation Blocks is that you can modify all existing tools easily. So let's turn this tool which deletes all unused project items into one that only writes a list of all unused project items to the console without deleting them. These blocks are the full implementation of the tool. The green block loops over all footage items and executes these nested blocks here for each of them. So for each of these footage items, the blue IF block checks if their audio is used zero times and if their video is used zero times. If both of this is the case, the message DELETE MY ITEM is written to the console and the item is deleted. If we just want the message without the deletion, we can simply right click on the delete block and disable it. Disabled blocks are not executed, but you can activate them later again if you want. If you choose DELETE instead, the block is removed permanently. Finally, we also tweak our message a little bit and write FOUND UNUSED here instead of DELETE. If we now run the tool, we get one found unused message for each unused project item. So that's how easily you can customize tools in Automation Blocks by manipulating their block code. After removing all unused project items, the project may contain empty bins. To remove those too, Automation Blocks also has a tool called Delete Empty Project Bins. And of course, I explain this tool in full detail in another tutorial.